Instagram quote graphics are a fantastic way for you to generate content for your Instagram account. But what will take your quotes to the next level is if they are visually consistent and they reinforce what your brand does in your community. So what we're going to do is we're going to revise the way that ESS does quotes and we're going to brand them for their business. If you are interested in my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, you can go to LashondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. <laughs> First, we want to find some quotes that we can utilize within our graphics. Now, Extra Solution Staffing has a fantastic blog, so we're gonna head over to their blog and we're going to pull some quotes from the blog post they already have. Now, in your organization, maybe you don't have a lot of quotes at your disposal and you can always use Pinterest or you can just Google inspirational or motivational quotes and that's where you can pull your content. But the people that I really enjoy to follow on Instagram, for example, Mina B., Her quotes are her words. And so I think it's something powerful when you can create a quote graphic that isn't just a quote you found online, but it's something you actually said. Number one, the quotes will be unique to your brand. And number two, it will reinforce what it is that you do. So Mina is a therapist. And so when she writes her own quotes and posts those to Instagram, she's reinforcing the fact that she is a qualified mental health educator. So I think that that is a fantastic way to go about choosing what you say in your quotes. So if we go back to the ESS blog, I remember seeing one specifically that really resonated with me and that was study the culture in order to impact the system. And so we're going to take this quote and we're going to put it within a quote graphic. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And we're going to look up Instagram post just to make sure that they are the right size. Now you can see there are a lot of different ways that you can go about creating quote graphics. They can be, um, photos with the quotes. It could be just quotes by itself. Um, there are tons of different styles, but I think what I want to do is to make sure that the quotes are actually um, part of an image that has a photo in it. I tend to resonate more with quote graphics that have people in it. And ESS helps to connect people with opportunities. So I think instead of just emphasizing the words for their brand, I think showing the people impacted by their advice is going to be a powerful statement. So we can look at what templates are available that have photos in them or we can create from scratch. So I think we're gonna do a little of both, but we're going to make sure that it stays within the same color palette. So we'll start with the blank one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add an element. And I like to use the rectangle element a lot so you can search for it here, but since I use it all the time, it's available here. And I like the rectangle because it has areas on all sides of the graphic that allow you to resize it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to utilize this rectangle in four different ways. So we'll go ahead and select their blue. We'll give it a little transparency, take it down to about 85, and we'll leave that there. So we're going to copy this page, and this is going to give us four different formats. So for the first one, we'll put the rectangle on the right. The second one, we'll put it on the left. The third one, we're going to rotate it and put it at the top. We'll make sure that that is completely straight. There we go. And the last one, we're going to rotate it and put it at the bottom. So 
So when we go to Pages Manager, you can see that we've got four different variations for ESS Quote Graphics. Now you can do a lot more than that. If we go back to the main view and we add another page, we can go to Templates and we could do something like this where we've got a box and we just remove the background. Another one could be maybe this love post where you've got a photo and the text around it, but I wanna keep it nice and simple. And so those are our four. Now the next thing we wanna do is we want to have consistent fonts. So we're gonna go ahead and add a subheading. And I think for the ESS brand, we're going to use this thick font here. And I want to increase the size Because again, on Instagram, this is going to be pretty small. And we're going to make it white. So it really pops on that dark background. Now the other thing we're going to do is change that spacing so we can get more text here. And we'll spread it out just a bit. Then we'll copy that and paste it on the other templates. Now I wanna make sure that their handle goes on all of these. So we're going to go back and add a bit of body text and we're going to say at extra solution staffing and we will make this bigger so we can read what we're typing. And again, we wanna go ahead and make that white. And this is okay if this is pretty small. And so this will help redirect traffic to their Instagram account. So if people reshare this in their Instagram stories, people will know where the quotes came from. Now the last thing we wanna do is go ahead and add a logo. So this goes back to the previous video where I expressed that it is very helpful to have an all white version of your logo. So if we go back to folders, we click on logos, now we can pull in the extra solution staffing logo. Now you could put that down here, but since we already have the handle, I think I'm going to add it in the corners of the graphic, which you'll see once we start to put photos in. And all of these have transparent backgrounds. So since we have the handle down here, let's put the logo up top. And then here's the last one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to their blog. I'm going to drop in all of the quotes that I wanna use. And then I'm going to find images that match the quotes. Just a couple quick notes about using images in your quote graphics. Sometimes the people may not be on the right side of the graphic when you're ready to use them. For example, if I were to use this photo, but I wanted the quote on the right side, if I dragged it, she would be covered up by that bar. And so what I can do instead is I can utilize Canva's flip function. So if you click on flip and you flip it horizontal, now you can have the person where you need them to be. And so if this was the image that I was using, now that works perfectly. 
So that's just one quick note about your images. Also, you want to make sure that people can see themselves in your brand. So if you help a diverse group of people with your product or service, make sure that your images are diverse. And so I took careful attention to make sure that that was reflected in what I chose to use in the images. So when I was done, all I need to do is go ahead and rename this. So I will say ESS Quote Graphics. And then I can click on download. It'll download it as a PNG and it will put all of the images in a zip folder. And so now I've got images to last me for an entire week because I like to do a Friday introductions on Friday. So if I wanted to post daily on this Instagram account, now within a matter of minutes, I have exactly what I need and I can be consistent with the content that I am producing for that business Instagram account. So if you are looking to generate consistent Instagram content, I would highly recommend not only doing quote graphics, but using your own quotes, putting your branding on it, and having people within the images to help people to connect with your brand in a deeper way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you missed the Instagram highlight video, make sure that you go back so that you can learn how to make Instagram highlight covers for your business Instagram account. And up next, we're going to brand some IG story templates. Be sure to like this video and subscribe because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. If you are looking for incredible stock photos for your brand that are diverse, be sure to check out iforebony.com. Until next time, ta-ta for now.